Hey friends, it's me, China Guitar Skeptic, and I'm back with the second of this double, surprise double, Harley Benton guitar unboxing. So this is a surprise unboxing of a second of two guitars very kindly sent to me by Toman, who I made really good friends with at GitCon this year. I've said that I'd be quite happy to do impartial reviews of any stuff that they'd like to send, because I think that they everything that I've seen of their Harley Benton range of guitars make them the ideal alternative to you guys buying fakes from China, because these, in the main, are built in China. Well, I don't know what this one is, but a lot of the Toman range are certainly built in the Far East. They have, I know that, for example, the CST24 that I unboxed for you, the green one over there, that was made in Vietnam. But at the price point and the quality standard of these Harley Bentons, they make a great alternative for me to recommend to you where I can't recommend any fake. Not just because of the ethics, but because of all the aggro and all of the poor quality control issues and the terrible things that come out of China and all those horror stories that you see on my website and forum. So, that said, disclaimer as usual, I will not be partial regardless of whether companies send me products to review. I have refused the option from some already to pay me to review products because I then feel that I would certainly be biased. Whereas with this, I don't have to be biased. They've sent it to me and in return for sending it to me, I'm very happy to unbox it, show it to you and let you guys be the deciders over what you think about these guitars. So really all you're gonna get from me is a description and a playthrough and I'll let you guys tell us in the comments down below what you think of them. So. Let's get on with this. I have no clue what it is. The box again, so that they surprised me. They haven't marked the boxes anywhere that I can see. And I've literally just done the unboxing part of the video for the SC550 and I'm opening this straight away so that I've got the footage of the unboxing to cut into the playing demo in a bit. So let's see. Let's show you again, like I did with the SC550, what the second guitar is that Toman have sent me. You can see before I can. No idea what this is yet. Oh my goodness, it's a very dark, dark looking guitar. And it's got an F hole. Okay, we've got the Allen keys and all that good stuff that comes with it again. And the picks, the Toman emergency pick. Kit, first aid kit, I love that, it's a great idea. And yeah, Simeon, very kindly, we had a good old chat at GitCon, and he was a lovely guy. We sat up till about two in the morning one morning, just enjoying sharing a beer. And uh, he was talking to me about the entire product range. I said I'd be more than happy to review anything that they wanted me to, so long as they were happy that it was impartial, because I want you guys to decide always. I think I know what this is, wow. I can feel from the headstock. So, here we go. I'm gonna see it after you see it. But I do know that it is a, another deluxe model and it is the CST24. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And I'm trying really hard not to be OTT with my reactions here, but that is one beautiful top on that guitar. <laughs> Thank you. 
thought I felt a little imperfection there, but I didn't. It was just a piece of dust that got stuck to the finish. This has got Diodario XLs on it. I always play Diodario strings and it says play a circle, play more, do more, earn more. Cool. And that looks like that's a sticker for me there as well. How cool is that? And there's the, the checking ticket. And again, I'm assuming that this, when they come in tune, you just know that they've been properly set up and quality controlled at the factory. And again, I'm gonna remain impartial, but every single Harley Benton that I've unboxed, whether I've paid for it or if it's been sent to me to review, every single one of them has come close to in tune, which makes me think that somebody has bothered to set them up. And they also do come pretty well set up. This one has got a lower action than the SC550 they've just sent me. And I think that's in keeping with the guitar it's trying to emulate. And that is, of course, the PRS Custom 24, my favorite guitar. And it's even got the single wraparound bridge, which is nice. I've never tried one of these before on any guitar. It's got just a volume and a tone, and I can see by the sticker that the, the, the coils are split. And it's a three-way, I'm guessing. Yes, a three-way switch. It's 24 frets. <laughs> Once more, it comes with the Roswell pickups. This again, like the other CST, this is made in Vietnam. You could actually slightly change the intonation on these bridges. This has got an Allen key point here that looks like you can separately adjust the G and the B string. They are the small style potentiometers, but I've never had any problem with those, but they are the small style. so. For those of you that aren't keen on that, you might want to swap those out, which could be quite difficult because it's all got to be done through this hole uh, because there is no cavity plate on the back. As ever with many of the Far Eastern guitars, I can see that there is a joint there. So this body is two piece, but they don't make any bones about it. They don't try to hide it and they never try to hide scarf joints, which there isn't on this, but I'm guessing that's because of the shallow break angle of the headstock and the fact that it's quite a, a meaty piece of wood. There will be a heel joint usually, but that's a little bit too dark in the paint to see that. A slight little ripple in the paint finish where the neck meets the body. This has got the standard shallow style silver tuners on it.
this feels like it's in fact I'm going to go as far as to say that's either tusk or a graphite nut it feels more graphite to me but I will check the specifications obviously I've just literally unboxed these as a surprise and so I don't have the specifications to hand but that feels like there's certainly no plastic nut on this similarly to the SC550 that I've just unboxed from them as well it comes with the metal jack socket insert. If I had one minor criticism, it would be that some of these frets are just a little bloomed. They just need a bit of polishing. Nothing more really. Most of them are polished as you can see from their shininess, but there are just a couple of spots on here where there's a little bit of bloom. And so that's one little thing I will certainly be doing not before we do the playthrough test, but before when I restring it, I shall, I shall do that. Pretty sure that it is a 25 inch scale length. It may have just a slight imperfection in it there. It shows you one thing, that it's definitely a real piece of maple, no matter if it's a millimeter thick veneer or not. And that looks really nice. And when you move it in the light, you get that lovely flame movement, which is really nice. This one doesn't do the flame movement as well as the SC550, but you can tell it's a piece of wood and you do get an absolute, for certain, movement in the wood grain so you know that it's real wood. Hopefully you can see that if it's not just reflecting off of my video lights. There we go. 
been a star, done an incredible job thus far, respected by everybody. I like China. I just sold an apartment for $15 million to somebody from China. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be back really soon with more great content as soon as I can. And in the meantime, as always, my friends, you take good care.